in the semi-final, setting a new Paralympic Games record along the way. Mandy Francois Ali, the Paralympic Games champion, the former European and world champion in this. Yaskali Medina of Venezuela, the Pan Am champion. And Georgie Hermitage, the European champion. It's a stellar field. Starting off with lane two and the reigning world 200 meters champion from China, Li Yingli. Asian Games four by one champion, won four medals there. Lane three for South Africa is Liesel Kaus, fourth in the 400 meters in the 2013 World Championships in Lyon, didn't compete last year in Doha. Mandy Francois Ali of France. The reigning Paralympic Games champion won the world title in the one and the two in Lyon in 2013 and the European title in 2014 in Swansea for Tunisia in five, Neni Baha, silver in the four, Lyon 2013 and the reigning Paralympic Games 400 meters champion. Georgie Hermitage, the reigning European champion over one, two and four, won the four by one as well in Grisetto earlier this year and the reigning world champion over 400 meters, won that semi-final equaling the world record. Lane seven for Venezuela, the Pan American champion from Toronto last summer, is Kali Medina. Lane eight for Germany, regularly successful. European bronze in the 100 meters in Swansea in 2014, silver in the Worlds in 2013 in this. Maria Seifert from Erfurt in Germany. And in lane nine, bronze in the long jump at the Commonwealth Games 2014 in Glasgow. The reigning Paralympic Games 200 meters champion, Joanna Benson of Namibia. The field couldn't be much stronger than this in truth. Georgie Hermitage, that brilliant run earlier to equal her world record of 13.39. Mandy Francois Ali defending her title. Lee Gauss, Francois Ali, Bahi, Hermitage, Medina, Seifert, and Benson. The final of the women's 100 meters T37. And away first time and a great start by Mandy Francois Ali who has the lead and here comes Georgie Hermitage. It's a great battle between these two. Hermitage just out in front. Francois Ali in second place. Hermitage is going to take it. It'll be 13.14 and a new world record. And Georgie Hermitage has got the lot. Paralympic gold. World record. Francois Ali dethroned, finishing in second place. And Georgie Hermitage, who left the sport at the age of 14, was a viewer on TV for London 2012, and said, I fancy a bit of that, and she's got it, and she's got the gold. Well, she's twice run 13.39, but she's taken 0.25 off that world record. And once again, confirmation, this is a quick track, and these are great athletes, as Hermitage runs it in... 13 and it's been actually rounded down to 13 1 3 she got away quickly as did Francoise Ali of France but Hermitage cranked it up over the last 50 Hermitage and Francoise Ali in 6 and 4 had it between them Hermitage had some work to do at this stage but flew to the line and did not ease up for one moment uh, resulting in yet another world record. Punches the air. Very tight for third. 13.85 and 13.88 for Medina and Bahi. But the start from Hermitage, impressive. She was well matched early by Mandy Francoise Ali. But then she took control of the race from 50 metres out. And just increased her lead all the way to the line. And still, the records tumble at the engine hour. Well, not only that, because 
Georgie Hermitage with the world record and obviously the European record as well. And four continental records were set in that race. Medina third for South America, for Venezuela. Neri Bahi fourth for Africa. Li Ying Li fifth for China. Records all the way. And Mandy Francois Ali in second for France. A truly great race. A truly supreme, wonderful champion. Georgina Heritage wins, world record, 13.13. Silver, Manny Francois Ali for France. Bronze, Yuskali Medina for Venezuela. Continental records for her, Bahi and Lee.